Wonderful. All right. <laughs> Thank you all so much for being here today, setting aside the time. Um, let's just get settled in. And so you might um, choose to close your eyes. You might choose to keep your eyes open, whatever feels more supportive right now. And then just taking a few intentional breaths. So you might just notice uh, when you are inhaling and notice when you are exhaling. So just a simple shift of awareness inward, a simple kind of way of contacting aliveness, of grounding yourself in that experience. And as there is inhale and there is exhale, you might also feel your body, um, the parts of your body that are touching the ground or whatever you are sitting on right now. Just feeling that the presence of the earth rising up to meet you, just that dense supportive quality as you breathe. So just Coming back, um, whenever you remember coming back to these ways of touching the present moment, it could be that sensation, sound, movement of breath. It could be the sensation of earth rising up to meet you. It might be sounds that are in the room or outside. It might be something you see with your eyes, but just ways of touching the present moment. And then if possible, you might just for a moment touch aliveness with a quality of gratitude, just the felt sense of it, if possible. What would it feel like to sense what you're grateful for right now? There might be a sense of softening, settling, but whatever it is, whatever it feels like. And that can be a powerful touchstone just to enter the present moment and then soften a little bit, touching that kind of tender quality of presence with gratitude. Gratitude is really just a way of honoring your journey, everything that brought you right here. With your next breath or two, you might just bow your head, maybe blink your eyes open if they're closed, and then you can lift your gaze forward and let's lie down on our backs and walk the feet in towards the sitting bone. So just rolling down onto your back, walking your feet in, and let's take the feet wide, the knees together, place a hand on the belly and a hand on the heart, or maybe you prefer to have arms at your sides, but just a gesture of um, care, if you can, as you breathe. So again, touching sound, sensation, movement, maybe it's of your breathing, maybe it's the floor, maybe it's the space around you, or all three. And then just softening a little bit as you sense just an awareness of everything that brought you right here, just softening with that natural quality of gratitude and really honoring who you are right now. Let's take another full breath in, full breath out, just settling a little bit more deeply. And then we'll just take the legs and outstretch the legs onto the floor in front of you. And then interlace the fingers, press the palms towards the wall behind you. So you're just lengthening front to back. So starting to expand a little bit. Feel the legs hugging together, reaching through the arms. Take an inhale. And then let's bring the right knee into the chest as you exhale. So just 
clasping hands onto the shin, lengthening the left leg, softening the right knee down. Just take a few breaths. If you're able to breathe in and out through the nose, feel the breath moving all the way down to the low belly, drawing in below the navel as you exhale one more time here. And then inhale, reach the right leg out to meet the left leg, reach the arms overhead, and exhale, draw the left knee in. And just take a breath or two, just feeling into it, lengthening the right leg, squeezing the left knee down. Maybe feeling that breath deep down below the navel, drawing up and in. Take another exhale. And then inhale, reach the left leg out, arms reach away from the legs. Nice full breath, expanding a little bit as you breathe. And then bringing both knees into the chest as you exhale and just pause. I like to take my knees wide more towards the armpits and maybe just rock a little bit side to side. So just touching the present moment with sound, sensation, movement, and then softening with that quality of gratitude, that sense of just honoring who you are right now, how you came to be right here. From here, let's place the soles of the feet onto the floor. And then we'll have the arms either resting at your side or maybe resting on the floor overhead. And then let's inhale, just lift the hips up into bridge pose. So you press the heels down and lift the hips up and then just come back to your breath. Come back to the breath, pressing the feet down, lifting the hips, draw in below the navel and soften the head and shoulders if possible. Take another breath, inhale here and then lower down as you exhale. We're gonna do that two more times. Just rest for a full breath in, full breath out. And then inhale, lift the hips again. So grounding the heels, lifting the hips up, and breathing there. Inhaling, exhaling. Just noticing when you inhale, noticing when you exhale. Take another breath, inhale, and then lower all the way down again. Let's do that one more time. Just rest for a breath. And then inhale, lifting up again. Lifting up, breathing, softening the head and shoulders. Feeling the sound, sensation, movement of the breath, and just touching aliveness with that steady, sweet quality of gratitude. It's really just listening deeply, honoring your journey. Take another inhale. Exhale, lower all the way down. Good. From here, let's lift the legs up so that the shins are parallel to the floor. And then we'll cross the right thigh on top of the left thigh. And maybe you tuck the right toes behind the left ankle or just leave the toes free. Let's then bring the arms up and wrap the right arm under the left arm. You either give yourself a hug or bring right fingertips to left palm. If you can imagine squeezing your legs together and drawing in below the navel, and then hugging your arms together and pressing your forearms towards the ceiling just a little bit. You can stay right here and breathe, or inhale, move the elbows and knees away from each other. Exhale, lift the head and shoulders, curl the elbows and knees together. Repeat that a few more times. Inhale, maybe opening up. Exhale, curling in. Again, perhaps inhale, opening. Exhale, curling. And one more time, inhale, opening up. Exhale, curling everything. And let's stay lifted, take an inhale. And an exhale, and then inhale, release the arms, release the legs, feet down, arms down, just pause. Notice when you inhale, when you exhale, just soften for a moment. Then let's lift the legs back up again. Cross the left thigh on top of the right thigh, and then take the left arm under the right arm, either hugging opposite shoulders or wrapping the arms, left fingertips to right palm. Squeeze the legs together, squeeze the arms together, draw in below the navel. You can stay still and breathe right here. Or inhale, move the elbows and knees away from each other. Exhale, curl everything together. Inhale, opening up if you're doing the movement. Exhale, squeeze together, lift up. Inhale, opening up. Exhale, curl together. 
Let's do it again. Inhale, opening. Exhale, curl. This time, stay for a breath. Inhale. Exhale one more time. And then inhale, release the arms, release the feet. And just pause. You might close your eyes. Exhale all the way down into the ground. Just feel that dense, supportive quality of the earth. And from here, let's just reach the right leg up to the ceiling. And you can either keep your left foot on the floor or stretch your left leg out onto the floor. Just a few more things lying down. Let's just circle our foot and ankle around. So just circling the foot and ankle in one direction and then circling it the other direction. Just a few circles each way. Then we're going to keep uh, the belly a little bit stabilized, just gently drawing in below the navel and then point the right toes and start circling the whole leg. So like you're drawing circles on the ceiling with your right toes and they can be tiny circles. They can be big circles, whatever you wish. Just drawing circles with the right foot on the ceiling, just exploring that space, that movement, that sensation. Let's go ahead and switch directions. So whatever direction you started, just switch. If your left leg is outstretched, really use that leg to help stabilize you down into the ground. Let's take one more circle that direction and then bring the leg back to center. Just clasp your hands onto your leg, take an inhale and then exhale. You might bow to your knee, draw your navel down and bring the leg towards you however much feels possible right now. Inhale, rest your head down. And then exhale, release that right leg out to meet that left leg or place that right foot onto the floor. Let's take the left leg up. And again, just pause. You can either keep your right foot on the floor with the knee bent or outstretch the right leg. And then just take a breath, circling your foot. Take a few breaths, circling your foot one direction. Circling your foot one direction. And then maybe you switch directions, just a few circles the other way. And whenever you remember, just touching the present moment with sound, sensation, movement. Come back to stillness, stabilized by drawing belly down towards the ground, navel down towards the ground. And then point the toes, let's circle the leg one direction. And again, could be tiny circles, could be big circles. Just drawing circles on the ceiling with your toes and stabilizing with your right foot or your right leg and your belly and your breath. See if it's possible to soften the head and shoulders a little bit, to cultivate that kind of spacious quality of gratitude. Let's switch directions, that tender quality of gratitude. Just honoring your whole journey right here in this moment. Take one more circle and then come back to the center. Let's just clasp hands onto the leg, inhale. Exhale, lift your head and shoulders so you might not get your head to your knee, but you just bow and draw the leg in as much as you can. Take another exhale. And then inhale, rest your head down. Exhale, outstretch the left leg or place both feet on the floor. Good, let's take a breath, hug the knees all the way into the chest. And then we're gonna rock up onto our hands and knees. So you might roll to the side and come onto your hands and knees. You might rock up over your crossed ankles, whatever works. Just coming into tabletop. So as you rise into tabletop, just feeling your hands and knees on the ground, just touching the earth gently here as you breathe. So sensing where you are on the inside, where you are on the outside, just Touching the present moment and then softening the knee. Let's take an inhale, arch the back and look up. Exhale, curl round, tuck the tail, bow the head. Again, inhale, arching the back and looking up. Exhale, curling, bowing, rounding the back, tucking the chin. Continue, inhale, arching the back and looking up. Exhale, curling. Bowing, rounding the back, tucking the chin. One more time, inhale, just exploring that breath and movement together. Exhale, curling, bowing, rounding. Let's come into neutral, inhale. And then forearms to the floor, step to forearm plank as you exhale. So just step the feet back, 
You can have one or both knees touching the floor, or you can have both knees lifted. So there's never one way. You just show up, honor who you are right now, honor this part of your journey if you can. Grounding into the elbows, see if you can imagine lengthening by pushing your elbows and toes away from each other. Let's take another exhale. And then we're gonna roll onto our right forearm. You might touch your right knee down as you roll for forearm side plank. Maybe you have both knees lifted. Left hand can stay on the floor for support or come to the hip or reach overhead. Take another exhale. And then inhale, come back through forearm plank. Let's go to the other side. Maybe you touch the knee down for support. Maybe you keep your right hand on the floor for support. Left side, forearm side plank. Maybe you reach overhead. Take another exhale here. And then inhale back to forearm plank. Exhale, hips down. We're going to come into sphinx pose. So untuck the toes. Hug the legs together, press the toes down, lift the knees. If you can draw in below the navel, use your elbows touching the ground here to help broaden your chest. Take another breath, inhale. And then let's just lower all the way down, rest and pause for just a moment. Just a full breath in, full breath out, just Sensing who you are in this moment, really honoring this part of your journey. Honoring everything that brought you right here. Good. Let's rise from here again into forearm plank. We're going to do all of that one more time. So forearm plank again, feeling your elbows in, lifting your inner thighs if you can, broadening the collarbones. Let's take another exhale. And then we're gonna roll onto that right forearm for forearm side plank. It's totally fine to touch both knees down as you roll over. And then maybe you keep left hand on the floor for support. Maybe left arm reaches overhead or touches the hip. Take another full breath here and exhale. And then inhale, roll back onto your both forearms, forearm plank, and roll to the other side. So, Left side, take your time, forearm plank, maybe right hand is on the floor for support, maybe it's to the hip, maybe it's overhead. Take another exhale. Inhale back to forearm plank, and then lower the hips down, exhale. Sphinx pose one more time. So hug the legs, reach them back, draw in below me. Then, so that's your kind of rooting and grounding. Then start to broaden, notice the breath, Inhaling and exhaling. Another full breath. And then lower all the way down. Just pause and rest. Just touching the present moment. Whatever way feels possible right now. Take another exhale. From here, we're going to rise into either tabletop or high plank. And then either child's pose or downward facing dog. So you have that choice always coming up, inhaling, and then exhaling either downward dog or child's pose. And just come into a position where you can take a few breaths, just intentional breaths, noticing when you inhale, when you exhale. Like just the noticing. It's a really reverent gesture, just a way of honoring the aliveness that's flowing through you right now. Take another full exhalation wherever you are. And then if you're in child's pose, you might rise onto your hands and knees and then downward dog briefly so that we can walk the feet to the hands, come halfway up on the inhale and bow all the way down on the exhale. Let the head come all the way down. Hug the legs in, rise, reach, and look up, inhale. And then exhale, bring the arms down and pause. Excellent, we're gonna do just a few half sun salutations. So you might start in Samastiti and just take a breath or two, right? Just take a moment to touch aliveness. 
And then be spacious if you can. Soften. Just listen. Let's take an inhale. Lift the arms up. Maybe look up. And then drop the left arm and lean to the left as you exhale. Hug the legs in. Reach up through the right arm. Inhale. Lean a little bit more. Exhale. Let's hug in, lift the left arm, maybe look up, inhaling. And then other side, exhaling, dropping the right arm. Take that lengthening breath, inhaling. That leaning breath, exhale. Hugging in, grounding down, inhale, reaching both arms up, maybe looking up. Exhale now, we'll bow over the legs. You can bend your knees any amount. Come halfway up as you breathe in, broaden the collarbones, look up. Exhale, bow all the way down over the legs, heavy head. Stand up as you inhale, lift the arms and look up. And just bring the arms down, exhale. We're gonna do that again. Inhale, lift the arms and look up. Exhale, drop the left arm and lean. Stay here for a breath, hugging and grounding, reaching, inhale. Exhale, softening. Inhale, lift the left arm, maybe look up. Exhale, drop the right arm. So hugging the legs, drawing in below the navel, lengthening in here. Exhale, lean. Hugging and reaching up, looking up, inhale. Exhale, bow forward over the legs all the way. Just come halfway up, look up, broad chest, inhale. Exhale, bowing over the legs all the way. Inhale, stand up, lift the arms and look up. And exhale, arms to your sides. One more time, just one breath in the side bend. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, just one exhalation, leaning to the left. Inhale, lift the left arm, maybe look up. Exhale, leaning to the right. Inhale, rising up, lifting up, looking up. Exhale, bowing over the legs all the way down. Head comes all the way down. Inhale, just lengthening, looking up. Exhale, bowing forward again, lifting below the knee. Inhale, standing up, lifting the arms, looking up. And exhale, arms to your side. So we're going to build on that same movement pattern with a version of Sun Salutation A. As you inhale, lift the arms and look up. Let's just fold right down over the legs as you exhale. Come halfway up on the inhale. Hands down, step to high plank on the exhale. Take an inhale in high plank. Touch the knees down, exhale. Rise onto the knees, lift the arms, look up, maybe inhale. And then just circle the arms back and around, hands onto your glutes or lower back. Inhale again, broaden the chest. Maybe you lean back a tiny bit, exhale. So this is a version of camel pose. Hug the legs in, lift the arms up, inhale. And then if you can, you just bow into child's pose on the exhale. I like to sweep my arms back and bow the head down. Inhale, come onto the hands and knees, arch the back into cow pose, looking up. And then exhale, either child's pose or downward facing dog, bowing your head either way and breathing. Find your breath here, just Noticing when you inhale, noticing when you exhale, start with that. Okay, just really touching the present moment with sound, sensation, movement. Let's take another full exhalation wherever you are. And then we're going to bring feet to the hands, hug the legs in, come halfway up, inhale. Exhale, bow all the way down over the legs, head comes all the way. Inhale, stand up, lift the arms and look up, hold breath. And arms to your sides. Exhale. We're going to do that two more times. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, bowing forward over the legs. Inhale, hugging and lengthening, looking up. Exhale, step into high plank. Take a breath in and high plank. Touch the knees down. Exhale. Rise onto the knees. Lift the arms so you get some length and reaching up. Exhale, circle the arms around. Maybe hands touch your lower back or glutes. Take an inhale, broaden the chest. Exhale, leaning back. Take another full exhalation here. And then coming all the way up, inhale, reaching. 
Exhale for child's pose. I like to reach the arms back and bow the head. It's just for that one exhale. And then inhale onto hands and knees and arch the back. Look up, broaden the chest. Exhale, either child's pose or downward facing dog. Take a full deep breath, just noticing when you inhale, noticing when you exhale. What would it feel like? What would the felt sense be of really touching aliveness with gratitude right here just for this breath, this moment, this sensation or movement. Take another full exhalation. And then let's bring the feet to the hands, hug the legs in, lengthen and look up. Exhale, bow forward over the legs all the way. Inhale, rise, lift the arms and look up, full breath. And exhale, arms down, samasthiti. One more, inhale, reaching up, same thing we just did. Exhale, bow forward. You can bend your knees any amount as you bow. Come halfway up, inhale. Exhale, high plank, press into your hands. Take a nice full breath in. Exhale, touch the knees down. Inhale, stand up onto the knees, lift the arms, maybe look up. And then exhale, hands circle back and around. Maybe hands on your lower back or glutes. Inhale, broad chest. Maybe you lean back a little bit, exhale. Hug the legs in, lift the arms up, breathing in. And then bow forward for child's pose, breathing out. Rise onto your hands and knees, arch your back, inhale, looking up. Exhale, downward facing dog or child's pose. Just breathing. Inhale and exhale. In your own way, just by showing up, there's a way of honoring your journey. Whatever that looks like, however that's moving, whatever that feels like. Let's take another full exhalation here. And then bring feet to the hands, hug the legs in, lengthen and look up. Exhale, bow forward all the way down over the legs. Inhale, rise, lift the arms and look up, full breath. Exhale, arms to your sides. We're gonna do two rounds of Mandala Namaskar around the mat. So let's start with Utkatasana. So bend the knees, lift the arms, inhale. Exhale, bowing forward over the legs. Just take your time. Inhale, broad chest, look up. Exhale, fingertips down, right foot steps back. Drop the foot 45 degrees. Let's climb onto the left thigh as you inhale and exhale, pause. So warrior one, you might choose to lift your arms overhead. Breathe again. And then exhale, bring palms into the center chest. Turn to the right could be a tiny bend in the right knee or a deep bend as you push the left leg straight. Inhale, straighten the right leg. Exhale, bend to the left. Inhale, straighten the left leg. Turn to the back of your mat. Right foot is in front. Left foot 45 degrees. Palms on the right thigh. Take a breath here. Exhaling into the feet and legs. So really rooting here. And then inhale. You might rise, reach, and look up, breathing in. And then exhale, hands down. You can step right into downward dog. You can step into high plank, chaturanga, up dog if you wish. And then downward facing dog. Take a breath. Just the simplest thing, touching aliveness right here. Let's take an inhale, lift, reach, and breathe the left leg up and back. And then exhale, pull the left foot forward between the hands, drop the right foot. Let's rise onto the left thigh and exhale down into the feet and legs, palms on the left thigh. You might choose to lift your arms up, inhale, look up, reach up. And then exhale, bring the palms in, turn to the right. Bend that right knee, push that left leg straight. Inhale, straighten the right leg. Exhale, bend to the left. Inhale, straighten the left leg. Turn to the top of your mat. Right foot is in front. Bend the knee, reach back into the left foot. Exhale, hands onto the right thigh and reach down into the feet. You might reach up as you breathe in, maybe looking up. 
And then exhale, bring the hands down. Step the left foot forward and fold over the legs. Come halfway up, breathing in. Bow all the way down, breathing out. Let's bend the knees, lift the arms, inhaling, maybe looking up, and then arms to your sides, exhale. And let's just pause, take a breath, touching that steady, sweet quality of the breath. Let's do this one more time. Inhale, bend the knees, lift the arms and look up. Exhale, bow over the legs, all the way. Hugging and lengthening, inhale, look up. Exhale, fingertips down, left foot back, drop at 45 degrees. Inhale, come up and exhale, pause, maybe hands on the right thigh. And then inhale, you can lift your arms and look up. This time, as we exhale, let's bring hands together behind the back. Interlace the fingers. You can stay right here, lift it up, broad collarbone. If you wish, you can bow forward on the inside of your right leg. Come back to the breath, sound sensation movement, just touching the present moment wherever you are. Take another full exhalation here. And then as you inhale, rise all the way up, let the arms reach up, maybe look up. And then exhale, palms in, turn to the left. Bend that left knee any amount as you push the right leg straight. Inhale, straighten the left leg, and exhale, move to the right, just bending that right knee. Inhale, straighten that right leg, turn the feet back of your mat. Left knee bends, right foot 45 degrees. Maybe you pause and ground with hands on the left thigh. You might reach up as you inhale, and then exhale, bring the hands together behind the back. Interlace the fingers, reach into the right foot, broaden the chest. You can stay lifted right here, or exhale, bow on the inside of the left leg, any amount, breathing here. Contacting the breath, sound, sensation, movement. That dense and supportive quality of the earth under your feet. One more exhale. Inhale, rise all the way up. Maybe let the arms reach up. And then exhale, hands to the floor. You can step right into downward dog or child's pose. You can move from plank to up dog and then down dog. So just being responsive. And just honoring who you are in this moment. Let that be part of the journey, the practice of gratitude, of awakening. Let's take another full breath here, wherever you are, whether it's child's pose or down dog, exhale. And then if possible, let's reach the right leg up and back, lengthening up through the right leg. And then exhale, pull the right foot between the hands, drop the left foot 45 degrees. Let's inhale, rise and place the hands on the right thigh as you exhale. And then you might choose to lift your arms overhead, inhale. This time we're gonna take the right arm and drop it down. So just hanging at your side. Reach into your left foot, lift up through your left arm and then maybe lean to the right just a tiny bit for a side stretch. Take another full exhale, drawing in below navel here. And then use your right arm reaching up as you inhale. Exhale, palms in, turn to the left, bend the left knee, push the right leg straight. Inhale, straighten the left leg. Exhale, bend to the right, any amount. Inhale, straighten the right leg, turn to the top. Last time with this, left knee bends, right foot 45 degrees. And inhale, lift the arms, maybe look up. This time, left arm drops down. And then you just reach up through the right arm, reach back into the right foot, and maybe lean in. Take another breath. Draw in below navel, just touching the present moment with that spacious quality, with that tender quality of gratitude. One more exhale. Inhale, lift the left arm, maybe look up. Exhale, hands down. This time, right foot steps forward, fold over the leg. Just come halfway up. As you inhale, lengthening, and then bow forward all the way, exhale. Let's bend the knees, sweep the arms up into Utkatasa, inhale. 
and then back into standing as you exhale. Let's take a nice big step out with the right foot, arms outstretched, and inhale here. Exhale, just bring hands to your hips. So the feet are either parallel or slightly turned in. Press into the feet, push your hands gently onto your hips. So you're grounding, rooting into the feet and legs and broadening, rising through the breath. Take another inhale here, and then exhale, just fold over the legs, touch the fingertips to the floor. You can bend your knees any amount. Come halfway up, inhaling, and then just fold over your legs, exhaling. So it's just a wide, standing forward bend. See if you can let your head come all the way down. Full breath in, full breath out. Just noticing the inhale, noticing the exhale. Let there be a moment just honoring your journey here as you soften with your exhalation. Let's take a breath in, come halfway up, inhaling. Exhale, pause right there. And then climb the hands onto the hips and inhale, stand all the way up. Exhale, pause right there. So we're going to pivot our feet towards the right foot. So both feet pivot. Left hand stays on left hip, right hand touches right thigh. Take a breath in so you're grounding into the feet, broadening through the quadrant. Exhale, start to tip over your right leg. So you might need to bend it. We're moving into Utija Trikonasana. You can stop anywhere along the way. So you can touch your shin or your thigh with your right hand. You might get to the foot or the floor. You can roll your left shoulder open. Maybe you reach your left arm up. Just come back to the breath, right? Orient yourself in the present moment. Take another full inhale, full exhale. One more breath. Just the steady, sweet presence of your breath. Exhale, bring the left hand to the hip. Let's look down at the right foot. We're going to shift into Ardha Chandrasana, bending the right knee, placing right fingertips. I like to, to put them over to the right and in front of the right foot. And then the left leg can lift any amount. It doesn't have to lift high. It can just hover. You could explore rolling your left shoulder back, maybe reaching your left arm up. Keep breathing, come back to the breath. Take another lengthening inhale. And then hand to hip, touch the left foot down behind you, exhale. Inhale, rise all the way up to the neutral position, arms outstretched, feet parallel. Exhale, just bring hands to hips. Let's just pivot our feet now to the left, so facing the left foot. Take a breath in, press into the feet and rise through the collarbone. And then take a breath out, start to slide that left hand down that left leg. And again, you just stop anywhere along the way. And if bending the left knee feels useful, do that. You can find a place to stop and breathe. Maybe roll the right shoulder open. Maybe reach the right arm up. Come back to the breath. Right, just touching the present moment. Just that simple gesture can be a profound way of really honoring your whole journey, everything that brought you right here to this moment. Take another full exhalation. And then maybe let's exhale one more time, touching the right hand to the hip. Let's look down at the left foot. You can bend your left knee. We're going to move into Ardha Chandrasana, shifting weight onto the left leg, pressing the right leg up. Again, any height. Maybe it's just hovering. Maybe it comes all the way up. You can reach the right arm up if you wish. Come back to your breath. Just let it be a way of responding moment to moment. Take another inhale, and then right hand to hip, touch that right foot down, exhale. Inhale, rise all the way back up, arms outstretched. And then exhale, bring the hands together behind the back and release the fingers. Press into the feet, broaden the chest, look up, inhale. One more wide standing forward fold. Exhale, bow over both of your legs. 
If this arm position is uncomfortable, just release your hands to the floor. Take a full deep breath. See if you can let your head come all the way down. Another full cycle of breath, exhaling all the way out. And then as you inhale, let it be an opportunity to rise and outstretch the arms. And then step back to the top of your mat and bring your arms down. Exhale. We're going to move into Utkatasana and hold it. When I do Utkatasana, my preference is to have the feet and legs all the way together. That may not be your preference. So if you have your feet apart, that's totally perfectly good. Just don't bring your feet apart and your knees together. Either have your feet all the way together and your knees together or your feet and knees both apart. Okay, so pick one, bend the knees any amount and lift the arms and maybe you look up, maybe you can have your gaze forward. Take a steady gaze with your eyes. Hug the legs in, draw in below the knee. So even if the legs are not touching, they're hugging towards each other. There's just that action of squeezing. Take another breath, reaching up if you can. Inhale and then exhale, bow forward over the legs all the way down. Inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, you might step into high plank or maybe chaturanga. You can lift into up dog as you inhale and then maybe down dog as you exhale. Let's take the right leg, reach it up and back with a big breath in and then bend the knee, roll the hip open as you exhale. Take that inhale, reach that right leg all the way up again. And then exhale, step the right foot between the hands, drop the left foot. We're gonna rise into warrior two. So as you inhale, come all the way up. Warrior two, maybe gazing at the right fingertips, right knee is bent. Let's take an inhale, push the right leg straight, lift the arms up, look up. Exhale, sink back into warrior two. Again, inhale, lifting up, just channeling that steady, sweet quality of the breath. Exhale, sinking back in. One more time, inhale, lifting up, looking up, reaching up. Exhale, sinking back into warrior two. Stay here, take an inhale, and then exhale into extended side angle pose. Maybe right forearm to thigh, left arm overhead. Reach into your left foot, the outer edge of the left foot. Draw in below the navel, reach longer. Take another exhale. And then inhale, bring the left hand to the floor. Exhale, bring the right hand to the floor. Roll up onto the left toes. So coming into a low lunge, framing your right foot. Let's bring right hand to right hip and start to roll the right shoulder back. Maybe you reach your right arm up so it can become a twist here. Grounding into both of the legs, draw in below the navel. See if it could be a little bit sweeter, even if it's just a feeling, not a movement. Take another inhale. And then exhale, bring the right hand down. Step into downward facing dog. Full breath in, full breath out, bow the head. Reach through the arms, legs, and spine. Let's do that one more time on the other side. So take an inhale, reach the left leg up and back. Nice big reach with the leg. Exhale, bend the knee, roll the hip open. Take a nice breath to lengthen that left leg, reach it up. And then exhale, bring the left foot between the hands, drop the right foot. Inhale, rise into warrior two, arms outstretched, gazing maybe at the left fingertips. We'll come in and out of it with breath. So inhale, lift the arms, straighten the leg. Exhale, sink back in. Again, inhale, pressing down, reaching up, looking up. Exhale, sinking back in. It can be a big movement, it can be a small movement. You decide, inhale, reach up. Exhale, sink back in. Stay here, take an inhale. Exhale into extended side angle. So left forearm to thigh, right arm overhead. And then again, reach into your right foot. Draw in below the navel, reach a little bit longer through that whole right side. Take another full breath, lengthening inhale. 
And exhale, bring the right hand down, left hand down, roll up onto the right toes. So framing that left foot with the hand. Right hand stays on the floor, left hand to left hip, or maybe you reach the left arm up into that low lunge twist. Use your legs, find your breath, lift your belly, take another full inhale here. And then exhale, both hands down, step to downward facing dog. Left foot steps back. Could be child's pose. You decide, just take a full breath in, full breath out. See if you can let the head be heavy and the belly be light. Let's take another exhale here. Feet to the hands, hugging in, coming halfway. Exhale, bow forward all the way. Let it be a deep bow to your journey, everything that brought you right here. Let's bend the knees, lift the arms again into Utkatasana, and then bring your palms into your center chest, but keep your legs and knees bent. Let's inhale, outstretch the arms in front of you. Exhale, pull your right elbow back and maybe look over your right shoulder. Inhale, reach back to center. Exhale, pull and look to the left. Inhale, center, find your legs, find your belly. Exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, center, one more time each side. Exhale to the right. Inhale, center, one more time. Exhaling to the left. Good. Inhale, center, and then just standing up as you exhale, arms to your side. So let's take a steady gaze with the eyes. Bring the palms to touch each other in front of the chest. So arms at your sides and, or I'm sorry, palms together in front of your chest and take a steady gaze with your eyes. Vrikshasana, tree pose. So we're gonna balance on our left foot first, which means we'll inhale, lift the right heel, and then turn the right knee and toes out to the right. So start right here, right? Just a subtle gesture. Take a breath, inhale, exhale, soften a little bit. And then see if you can explore, maybe just stay right here and breathing, maybe lifting your foot anywhere above or below your left knee. Right, so sensing how the, the balance, the steadiness comes from the inside. From that breath, that quality of awareness, noticing sound, sensation. You might choose to reach your arms overhead, hugging and reaching up, lengthening. Keep coming back to the breath as you're able to. Take another inhale. Wherever you are with your next exhale, you might bring the palms in or just pause with the palms in. Release the right leg as you inhale and then foot down, arms down, exhale, just pause. Take a breath. Just touch aliveness sweetly if you can. Let's bring the palms together again. Settle the gaze. Let's just lift the left heel and then turn the left knee and toes out and pause. Again, you could stay right here. You can start to explore lifting the left foot, maybe anywhere below or above the right knee. Take that steady gaze with the eyes, come back to the naturally sweet, steady movement of the breath. You might choose to reach your arms overhead. Hugging the legs in and lengthening from the inside. Take another inhale wherever you are. And then with your next exhale, if your arms are lifted, you might bring them back to center. And then let's inhale, release that left foot. And then foot down, arms down, exhale. We're going to take a cycle down into seated. So take a full breath in, lift the arms. Maybe you lean back a little bit. Exhale, bow forward over the legs. Inhale, come halfway up, lengthen, look up. Exhale, you might step to high plank or chaturanga. Inhale, lift into up dog. Exhale, roll back into down dog. 
Just take a full breath. Drawing in below navel, lengthening arms, legs, and spine. Just take a moment to listen. Right? Each breath, an opportunity to really honor your journey and sense how precious these moments are. Just a deep bow to the aliveness that's here. With your next exhale, let's touch the knees down and sit back into child's pose for a moment. So just sitting the hips to the heels, bowing the head and breathing. And if it helps you to stack your forearms or your hands to support your head, do that. Just listening, inhaling and exhaling. Just meeting yourself in these moments with a tender and awake presence. Let's take another exhale and then start to rise and come onto your uh, bottom. So bringing your bottom onto the ground. We're gonna bring the soles of the feet together and the knees apart for Baddha Konasana. So soles of the feet together, knees apart. Just take a few breaths first to sit up nice and tall, to just explore uh, the inhalation and the exhalation right here. Just arranging your legs, feeling the ground rising up to meet you and then lengthening with the breath through the crown. You might choose to lean forward or bow all the way down. So any amount moving forward, or maybe even not at all, maybe just sitting upright. Just take about three more breaths here. It really, it's that quality of deep listening that honors aliveness. Whatever that is right now, however that's flowing through you. Take another full exhale. Start to rise on the inhale all the way up. And then open the legs wide for Upavista Konasana. So the legs are wide apart. You might have to have your knees bent for this. See if you can sit upright. So even if that means bending the knees, you might have space to fold forward, in which case, feel free. Just notice where you are, respond with that steady, sweet quality of the breath. Take another full exhale in this forward fold position. And then start to rise as you inhale. We're gonna take the right arm and slide it on the inside of the right leg and maybe reach the left arm. So any amount, you reach up and over with the left arm. Take another exhale here, and then inhale, rise back to center. And other side as you exhale, so left arm sliding down the inside of the left leg. Maybe you inhale, reach the right arm up, and possibly leaning to the left. Take another full breath here, softening on the exhale. And then inhale, rise all the way back up and exhale, pause. So we're gonna kind of, I like to slide my hands under the knees, slide the feet in, lift the legs up into Navasana. So right into Navasana, which is boat pose. You can touch your legs with your hands. You can reach your arms out alongside your legs. Hug the legs together, draw in below the navel, broaden the collarbones. Knees can be bent, or you can explore straightening your legs. Take another breath. It's really challenging. See if the breath could be a little bit spacious and sweet. One more inhale, and then exhale, hug the knees in and roll onto your back. And just really savor that moment of connecting. And softening the face, throat, and shoulders. Take a full exhale here. Good, let's place the soles of the feet onto the floor. Just take a breath, take the feet as wide as the mat, touch the knees together, and just pause for a moment. So as you're showing up, as you're showing up, just with presence and the natural, even if it's very subtle, the natural quality of gratitude, appreciation, tenderness that accompanies that. Not only is it about to your journey, it's about to our journey, that universal quality of 
You might soften into that as you exhale. And then bring the feet a little closer together so they're hip distance apart. Let's let the arms either rest at our sides or overhead. A few more rounds of bridge pose. So as you inhale, lift your hips up. Any amount. And exhale, stay here. Let the head and shoulders be heavy. Find that breath as you use your heels, your hamstrings, your glutes to support. Inhale and exhale, drawing in below navel, softening the head and shoulders a little bit more. Take another inhale here. And then exhale, lower all the way down. Let's rest for a full breath. And then inhale, lift back up again. So lifting the hips up, breathing with the hips lifted, softening the head and shoulders. Another full breath, inhaling. And exhale, lowering all the way down. Rest for a breath, inhale and exhale. And then inhale, lift up one final time in bridge. You might choose to interlace your fingers underneath you and rock your upper arms under you and broaden your collarbones. That's up to you. If you wish, you can do that. Grounding with the arms, the back of the head, one more inhale. And then lower all the way down as we exhale. Let's just pause and rest for two breaths. Just sensing who you are in this moment. Good. Let's lift the legs parallel to the floor. Cross the right thigh on top of the left thigh. So revisiting this that we did at the beginning. Right arm under the left arm, either hugging or right fingertips to left palm. You can stay still or inhale, open the knees and elbows. Exhale, curl together. Again, inhale, opening. Exhale, curling. Inhale, opening. Exhale, curling. Good. Let's do it again. Inhale, open. Exhale, curling. We're going to stay for an inhale and an exhale. And then inhale, release. And exhale, pause. Good. Let's do the same thing other side. Lift the shins. Cross the left thigh on top. Maybe you tuck the toes. Left arm under, maybe you wrap the arms or give yourself a hug. Inhale, open elbows and knees. Exhale, curl together. Inhale, opening that space. Exhale, curling together. Again, inhale, opening. Exhale, curling. Let's do one more, and we'll hold it one more time for that breath. Exhale, curl again. Stay here for an inhale. Stay here for an exhale. And then inhale, release the feet, the arms, and pause. Let's take the feet a little wider than the hips. Touch the knees together. Another full exhale here. Just moving into that quality of receiving the dense and supportive presence of the earth, noticing those points of contact. Let's turn the toes away from each other and tip the knees like windshield wipers to the right, maybe right hand on belly, left arm overhead. It's just an open twist, inhale and exhale here. Take another breath or two, see if you can. Soften the head and shoulders. As you open the space sweetly between the pit of the left knee and the left armpit. Take another full exhale. Inhale back to the center, soles of the feet on the floor, left hand on belly, right arm overhead, knees tipped to the left. Again, same thing, just let the head and shoulders receive support from the earth and soften. As you open the space between the pit of the knee and the right arm, but just that sweet invitation to spaciousness. Take another exhale. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, pause. One more thing before we really start to close. Let's stretch uh, the legs out onto the floor in front of you. Inhale, interlace fingers, reach arms away from legs. And then exhale, pull the right knee into the chest. Clasp hands onto the right shin, 
and squeeze that right knee down towards that right armpit as you lengthen that left leg. Let's take a full exhale here, deep, deep, knitting down below the navel. And then inhale, reach the right leg out, arms reach overhead. And left side, left knee coming in, clasping hands to the shin, breathing, squeezing that left knee down as you lengthen that right leg. Another full breath, exhale. Inhale, stretch the left leg out to meet the right leg, arms overhead. And then bring both knees in. Bring the knees in. Maybe the knees come as wide as the armpits, soles of the feet to the ceiling, clasp your hand, grab your outer edges of your feet with your hands and maybe rock gently side to side, happy baby. Softening the hip creases. Dropping the navel. Let's take another exhale. And then just hug your knees in and pause. So for our final resting position, Shavasana, I want to give you a couple of options. And of course, there's always more than a couple of options. But you could lie down flat on your back. Or you could put your legs up the wall or drape your legs on a chair or a sofa or a bed or whatever you have around you. Uh, of course, you might just choose to rest with your feet on the floor and your knees together. That would also be fine but just starting to transition into a position where you can rest for a few minutes, whether your legs are elevated or not. So finding your way here, and again, as you find your way, even just into this, whatever your resting position is gonna be, let it be a sweet gesture, a way of really honoring who you are right now, really also honoring everything that brought you right here. That expression of gratitude, appreciation, tenderness for your own life, for your own journey, for our collective quality of aliveness. So as you find your way to resting, you might close your eyes and exhale through your mouth or whatever helps you release any attempt to control the breath. You might notice the points of contact, your body touching the earth. You might sense as you're able to receive that support, and it might come in waves. There might be resistance that arises, and then you soften again. Resting and really just receiving the nourishment of gratitude, appreciation, tenderness. Just letting it wash over you. or abiding with whatever is here with you right now. And just bowing deeply to your journey and resting.
and just sensing in these moments, sensing how precious each moment, how precious each being really is. With your next few breaths, you might feel some movement in your arms and legs and maybe reach your arms overhead, hug your knees in, and perhaps roll onto one side and just pause there for a moment. And as you pause on your side, just sensing for a moment, if possible, just sensing the fellowship of the other beings that are here. That collective expression of gratitude, appreciation, tenderness. It's personal to each of us but it's also universal, it brings us together, it connects us deeply. With your next few breaths, you might rise and take your seat one more time. <clears throat> and you can sit upright just for another moment, maybe with your eyes closed, maybe with a soft gaze to the eyes. Closing intention really arises from that felt sense of connection, from that universal quality of aliveness, from the union of the universal and the personal. And it's really a sincere wish to express and live from a space of gratitude, appreciation, tenderness in more moments. It's not always possible. We just do our best when we remember. So you might sense into that, that sincere wish to share and express whatever's in your heart in more moments. Namaste. Thank you for your kind attention. Hope to see you again soon.